Hi everyone, my name is François Parlant and today I'm happy to show you how to use icons in Moodle to have nice buttons or to have images at the top of your cards. Let's start now. Moodle already includes a lot of icons and they are coming from Font Awesome and that's the version 4.7 I think where you will find the correct icons. Here you can see all the icons that you have. Let's click on the first one and that's where you're going to see how it looks and there is a code very important. That's this line that I would like you to copy for whichever icon you want. And let's go to your Moodle page. Let's click on add an activity or resource, choose a label and click on the little arrow that goes down to see all the additional icons and click on the last one, which is HTML. You don't need anything here, so delete everything and paste the code that you've just copied. Here you've got elements about the font awesome FA, so that's the type of icon. Then you've got FA and the name of the icon. And if you want to see it, just click again on HTML and you've got your icon. Now we can do a few changes. First, if you want to change the size of the icon, click on HTML again, go at the end of the name and you're going to start FA to say that you want something about font awesome and you're going to say, for example, 5x. 5x make, means five times the size of the icon. Go back by clicking on the HTML and you've got a much bigger icon. There are many ways to change the color of the icon, but the most simple one that I know is just to go back to the rules of Bootstrap and you know, you go inside your class and you type text primary, which will set the icon as the primary color of your website. And you can use the other names of the color in Bootstrap, for example, warning, and you'll have a warning color. If you already have a button, as we've seen in the previous video, what you can do to add the icon is click inside HTML, go just before the first letter and paste the code of the icon that you like. And now, well, we've got something. Of course, you can do a space just after the icon if you want to have something a bit nicer. Keep up watching in the next video. I'll show you in just one copy and paste how to make those nice headers. And we're going to do the three cards, which are really great because they're responsive. They will get one on top of the others if you are on mobile. See you soon. Bye bye.